Hi, Patrick Holmes here. Terrible lighting. I'm in the historic Olympia Theater in Dublin, Ireland right now on one of the biggest nights of my life. I'm tonight's opening night of a five-show run at the Olympia Theater. I'm in dressing room number three right now. Same dressing room as uh, a lot of people, a lot of, mu a lot of artists and creatives I really look up to. Bono, Snade O'Connor, um, Johnny Cash, um, Blur, you name it. Cheap Trick, they've played here. I, um, I bet the Kinks have played here. It's likely since this theater is 120 um, uh, or 80 years old that uh, Will Rogers has played here. All, so many greats. So much great stuff has happened on this stage. And I'm not just here for one night. I'm here, and I'm here for five nights. So forgive my enthusiasm, but this is awesome for me. So I started with a dream. Yes, geez, that sounds horrible. <laughs> I started, I start. oh, geez, Louise, nine years ago, nine years ago, um, I had zero traction in the theater world. I didn't have a show. I didn't have a single contact. I wasn't living in Ireland. Um, I didn't have a director. I didn't have, I had nothing. I had nothing. And um, now I'm here. So two things about that. One is if it's true for you, if there's something burning inside you that you just feel like you would love to do, that you would give that you would give enormous amounts of yourself if you knew that you could do it, if you've got that kind of burning desire, like a feeling like you must, then I don't care if you I don't care if you think you can pull it off. That's not the important part. The important part is that you go for it. Okay, because I didn't feel like I could pull off a theater show, let alone include in my dream five nights at the Olympia in Dublin, Ireland. That was never, that was, that was well beyond my imagination and my dreams. So that's the first thing. The thing that matters the most is your burning desire. Um, and that's what, you know, in your dream, in your burning desire, that's what we call your might. That's your might. That's your power. That's your possibility. It's a thing you might pull off. And everything's a might in the beginning. All epic, epic outcomes are a might in the beginning. So the second thing I wanted to say is, I wanted to explain how I got here. Starting from nothing. Well, first of all, I started in one moment of terror and courage. I started I took a stage somewhere. Okay, it wasn't a stage, it was a classroom. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, but I, that's the, you gotta start. And it'll, and it'll likely be terrifying to start, but exhilarating to think that you're finally going for it. Okay, so once you've started, don't expect epic, extraordinary outcomes on the day one, you know, just because it's your dream and you picture you can do it. Don't expect to be great at it and have the world come rushing to you in the first month, or the first try. It's not real, okay? Things are, there's a journey involved and it's an epic journey that awaits you, an epic journey. Um, but it unfolds. It unfolds all in good time and is a remarkable, remarkable, astonishing adventure. As a matter of fact, the journey and the adventure is the best part. Although I have to admit, sometimes arriving at way stations, like me here today, dressing room number three, the walls outside of this amazing theater are, are lined with black and white photographs of people on this stage. So, yeah, sometimes the, 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 the rest stops, the scenic views on your journey are epic. But it's every bit of the journey that is calling to you. That's why 
If you've got it in you, if you've got that burning desire, if, you've, if you have your might, get on the journey. Um, so, okay, so once you start, then what? I got an easy answer. Show up. When you don't know what to do next, show up and take three more small steps. That's what we call might. Knocking off huge, mighty dreams, mighty projects, ridiculous, impossible things in small, smart, sometimes bold steps. So that's what I didn't know how to get in the theater world. I didn't know how to get in a theater, let alone get to the Olympia. I didn't know how to do that. I didn't know how to build a play. I didn't know, I didn't know how to figure out what was stage left and stage right. Honest to God, I'm, I was wrong the first time I guessed that. I didn't know how you build a lighting plot. Maybe I still don't, you know? Maybe I still don't. <laughs> but I'm here because one day at a time, when I didn't feel like it, I'd go up anyway and I'd start my day with one mighty hour. And during that hour, I'd just take three steps, three more steps with the next thing that I could think to do on my dream. And you know, here's the thing, you gotta understand, like, your journey, my journey, it unfolds so much of the time without fireworks. When you're doing those three steps, don't expect fireworks, don't expect that just because you showed up to your desk that day and you took three more steps, it's like, it's fireworks and the greatest day of your life and oh my God. It's just not how it goes. You expect that a lot of days are just going to be like, okay, it just showed up. I don't think that did anything for me, but I took three more steps. I don't think I'm very smart at this. I don't think I'm as good as other people at this, you know? I don't, I don't even know if I'm going to make it, but I took three more steps. Expect that. But expect that you're, you're crazy, you're crazy driven, that, that you're just not going to stop taking steps. You're going to cling to every piece of hope that life will give you and it will always, always give you another piece of hope. You're going to take it. And you're going to use it like fuel, even if it's one piece of wood. You're going to burn that thing into total ash and you get every bit of fuel out of it. So you can take three more steps. And you take three steps and three steps and three steps and three steps and three steps. And, three steps. and it's going to add up. Do you know what that adds up to? If you only did that three days a week, three steps, one hour each time, nine steps a week, that adds up to half a thousand steps in a year. It adds up to incredible things in, in two years, astonishing things in three years. So my timeline in a year, I caught HBO's attention. In three years, I was in New York City playing my show for a month. In four years, I was on the main stages in the United States of America playing thousand seaters. People have bought a ticket to see me. Um, <laughs> in year nine, five nights at the Olympia. I just, I just set you on one course. Might is all about showing up and taking action. Small actions, because you can sustain those, you can figure those out. Might is about acknowledging that you don't know all the answers, you don't feel capable of everything you, certainly capable of everything you set out to do. If you do, you're lucky, you're really lucky. You know, but most of us, we feel insecure. You know, we have a hell of a, a lot of a doubt about what's gonna happen. But, but all we do is we adopt one simple philosophy, which is, Doubt, doubt aside, resistance to my dream aside, internal insecurity aside, I'm doing it anyway. I'm going to believe in myself enough anyway to take three more steps and to stay at this thing because people don't stay at things. You know, people measure their results in terms of a week or a month or this isn't working out for me after three months. 11 months. 11 months. 
into me trying my theater show, my comedic one-man theater show, which is what brought me to the Olympia Theater here tonight. 11 months into it, I was dying, sucking shit on stage with no sign of having any chance of success in this business. My best friends were counseling me to quit because they loved me and they hated seeing me embarrass myself like that. So believe, but you gotta believe in the right thing. The right thing to believe in is your true might. And your true might is your burning desire. It's your burning desire. For some reason, it feels like who you are. Who you are. Like it just matches the core of your being that you'd give a lifetime to get to live that experience even once. Now you're on track. And if you don't know what that big thing is yet, go for what you do feel a pull to. Because okay? a lot of times, it's just your resistance that's telling you you don't know what that big thing is. You know what that big thing is, but your resistance is covering it. Your fear is covering it. So I say, if you don't know what the big thing is, you know, uh, then go for the thing that just that does call to you, that pulls to you, that feels most in alignment with what you'd love to do if you had a genie. Okay, That's the beginning of your power and your possibility. Go in that direction and see if that doesn't turn into a burning desire, something you must do. And then start and knock that, knock that bastard off three steps at a time. And you just never know. You just never know where it's going to take you. I walk out on stage for my opening night in 21 minutes. Might on.